there's something about jogging in Linux CNC that I find really uncomfortable and dislike. The mill that I had before this one was an industrial hobbies mill and that used Mach 3. Now that was 15 years ago, but on that mill I used a numeric keypad as a remote controller and it worked great. But I tried this on Linux CNC when I first got this mill and really dislike it. I then got this Shuttle Express, which is like what Tormach uses, where there's a button for each axis, the button has to be pressed, and then there's two concentric wheels, one that controls step and one that controls variable velocity along that axis. And this was certainly an upgrade. This is kind of, um, it's a more specialized device than the numeric keypad is. This worked okay, but there was still something that just wasn't quite right with this. I then got a pendant from Vista CNC and I like this one a lot better. Again, we're increasing in uh, specialization. Now, all the remotes are a step up from the keyboard or from the touchscreen interface because you can move and position yourself to see the tool relative to the part. I tried this on uh, my CNC lathe and uh, don't, I don't like it. I went to a more specialized device. I, made a, an outfit where there's two MPG wheels to simulate uh, the behavior of uh, the hand wheels. And that works great. I use that all the time. What I've done is taking an Elgato uh, Stream Deck, and this is similar to the X-Keys product, but the big difference between the two is that this, the Stream Deck, uh, you can program the icon into the button. And that's really pretty neat because it means that you can have submenus or you can display information on the button. And these things are relatively inexpensive. NK case, which is smart push buttons, which have an OLED display, is nearly the price of uh, this uh, Stream Deck. Someone has reverse engineered the protocol and made a Python module for the Stream Deck. Linux CNC is built on Python 2.7, and this is an obsolete uh, version of Python. So to get it to work with Linux CNC, I have to create a bridge from Linux CNC to my Stream Deck application and then back. On startup, the Linux CNC logo is shown across all of the buttons. There's only one command on the main page which toggles the spindle brake. Right now the spindle brake is on and I have to turn it off to orient the spindle to perform a manual tool change. The X, Y, and Z coordinates are shown on all of the pages. There are two sub-pages, one for probing and one for jogging. The probing sub-page icons come from probe screen and the jogging subpage icons come from a Silver Dragon. On the jogging subpage, the jogging velocity can be changed, and each of the axes can be jogged independently or simultaneously. Take care.